Let us pray in this Holy Eucharistic celebration for the following intention. Diocese of Varangal, Fatima Nagar Parish, this Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donor, Tanugunla Mathias Reddy, Vijay Kumari, for blessings, good health, and good future for children, and also for departed souls of Tanugunla Shavreddy, Inyasamma, Shamala, Chinapreddy, May their souls rest in eternal peace. Thanking God for all the graces received offered by Tanamulla Matasredi, Vijay Kumari family members. Today, Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. The Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are in the fifth week of Monday, Easter. Therefore, God is speaking to us. One who loves me will keep my commandments. So during the Easter season, we saw some disciples asked Jesus to be with them. Therefore, when God is with us, we are filled with his graces. And when we want Jesus to be with us, we need to love him. We need to follow his commandments. As we partake in this Holy Eucharist, let us recall to mind all the sins that we have committed and ask pardon and mercy to participate in this Holy Eucharistic celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, I ask bless Mary our Virgin, all the angels and saints, saints and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness, by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We bring you good news that you should turn from these vain things to a living God. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verses from 5 to 18. In those days, when an attempt was made at Iconium by both Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to mistreat Paul and Barnabas and to stone them, they learned of it and fled to Lystra and their bay, cities of Liconia and to the surrounding country, and there they continued to preach the gospel. Now, at Lystra there was a man sitting who could not use his feet. 
he was crippled from birth and had never worked. He listened to Paul speaking. And Paul looking intently at him and seeing that he had faith to be made well, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And he sprang up and began to walk in. And when the crowd saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in Laconian, The gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. Barnabas they called Seus and Paul, Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Seus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates and wanted to offer sacrifice with the crowds. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their garments and rushed out into the crowd, crying out, Men, why are you doing these things? We also are men of like nature with you, and we bring you good news that you should turn from these vain things to a living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all the nations to walk in their own ways. Yet he did not leave himself without witness, for he did good by giving, giving you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the people from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response shall be, not to us, O Lord, but, not to us, o Lord, but to your name give the glory. But your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For you are merciful love and fidelity. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Your response, not to us, O Lord. Not to us, O Lord. But to your name give the glory. But your name give the glory. But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Your response, not to us, O Lord. Not to us, O Lord. But your name give the glory. But your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens, the heavens belongs to the Lord, but to the children of men he has given the earth. Your response, not to us, O Lord. Not to us, O Lord. But to your name give the glory. But to your name give the glory. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 14, verses 21 to 26. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, 
whoever has my commandments and keeps them he it is who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him judas said to him lord how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world jesus answered him if any one loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him whoever does not love me does not keep my words and the word that you hear is not mine but the father's who sent me these things i have spoken to you while i am still with you but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that i have said to you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear friends in jesus christ in the gospel reading today we heard the words from jesus one who loves me will keep my commandments and one who keeps his commandments then god and the father also with the person one who loves jesus or one who follows his commandments therefore we should know the commandments of jesus when a man came to jesus and asked teacher what is the greatest commandment to inherit the kingdom of god then jesus told him the first greatest commandment is this love your god with your all your heart and soul and might and secondly love your neighbor as yourself these two are the greatest commandments in the sight of god therefore when we follow these two commandments then god the father will be with us and jesus too will be with us therefore we have to question ourselves whether we are following the commandments of jesus in order to receive him into our hearts in the first reading of today we have heard barnabas and paul they both of them went to iconium to preach the word of god but they were rejected they were humiliated they were about to stone to death therefore they left the place and came to lystra and there they started preaching why do they preach because jesus told his apostles go and preach and baptize them in the name of the father and of the son and of the spirit since they love god they are following his commandments they started preaching the word of god though the place is not comfortable and people are not loving in fact they are humiliating and rejecting them and when they were rejected they didn't stop preaching they went to another place called lystra and there we come to know a person who cannot stand then through the help of god paul and barnabas worked wonders there and he was able to walk it was a strange thing to people who are present there and the crowds by looking at these miracles they thought it is nothing but god one who came in the form of these men therefore they started worshiping them 
then immediately paul and barnabas realized that they are not god but they are only human beings and told them not to do such kind of things and directed them towards god it is god who one who gives rains it is god who give blessings we are humans as you are and we preach the word in order to make you away from all these vain things therefore you should not cling on to these vain things look at god the living god they directed the people the crowds to the god because they love god and sometimes when people come to us when they get healing or when they receive some help they think that we are gods and they to do like these people did to the paul when they worship us are we dare to reject them and turn towards god and make them to realize who is the living god we have to think of it and jesus tells them it is the holy spirit who will guide you teaches you how to speak how to go about in the first reading we saw though they had trials and tribulations humiliations they were not scared of their life they believed that the holy spirit is with us the holy spirit will lead us to preach the word of god that is the experience we see in these two faithful servants called paul and barnabas therefore dear friends in our life too loving god means loving god and loving neighbor means preaching the word to the people and cure them from all their sickness and lead them to god this is what we have to do in our life therefore when we do these things in our life be sure that god is going to be with you he is going to manifest himself to you when god is with us we know we know the tremendous changes that will take place in our life the blessings we receive in our life we lack nothing therefore let us try to be with god and allow god to be in us by following his commandments by serving him and serving the humanity dear friends let us ask god's blessings upon each and every one of us lord jesus we came to know that through your disciples you cured the person who cannot walk crippled was cured through your power we pray for all the sick people on this earth be with them lord give them good health and also we pray for francis our pope paul anthony our archbishop and all the clergy priests sisters whom you have chosen as they do your mission work if they are if they are facing all the problems that paul and barnabas had faced as you guided them guide these your servants and be with them in your for this grace let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord jesus 
we also pray for ourselves for the times if we have looked for our glory looked for our name and fame forgive us and help us to make the people turn towards you help us to guide the people in a proper way so that we may spread your name and bring glory to only your name for this grace let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear our prayer. prayer lord jesus we pray for divyavani tv channel who is constantly helping them to grow in the mission field in proclaiming the word help them lord grant them all the requirements or necessities that they are in need of be with the members who are involved in this help them and be guided by your holy spirit for this grace let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we implore your blessings upon us and people who have asked of our prayers grant your blessings and be with us we make our prayer through our lord jesus christ who reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may, may the lord, lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for all the good and the good of the holy church may our prayers rise up to you o lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all to laud you, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the world order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest 
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and paul anthony our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed apostles saint joseph and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the, for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory of us now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, my but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks to the Lord for His good. 